Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I'm your host, Data Pioneer, and today we want to get into Project Trident. Um, I've got that in a virtual machine. I'm going to spin it up and take a look at it and review it for you. I'm not going to do the install because everybody, everybody knows how to install uh, Linux distros uh, in a virtual machine, whether it be virtual machine or VMware rather, or virtual box. So I'm not going to get into that, but I will start out launching it from that platform. Um, I'm out on the Project Trident website right now and um, here it is. It's at project-trident.org. I'll put a link down uh, to this to below the video. Also a link to the download so you can download the ISO. But uh, Project Trident is based on Void Linux um, which no longer exists I don't think. Um, but it's also based on, uh, Voyage is based on True OS, which is a BSD spin uh, and not True Linux. Um, so you'll see some of that in Project Trident. Uh, but Project Trident is a desktop focused operating system. It says here based on Void Linux. Uh, it uses the Lumina desktop. Uh, it says as well as a number of self developed utilities to provide an easy to use system that both beginners and advanced system administrator, administrators can feel comfortable running 24-7. Some of the benefits of the Project Trident here are listed here. Uh, privacy, encryption, it's no cost. Regular updates are provided, always ready. It's a stable platform and it's open source and that's the main thing. Um, you can look at the rest of this website for yourself. Um, but let's go out on the downloads link, which I've already pulled up. Here it is. Now the system requirements for Project Trident 64-bit uh, uh, is recommended. 64-bit is the minimum. 4 gigs of RAM is recommended and you can run it it says on 2 gigs of RAM although I think you'll find that to be uh, a little slow. This space here is for whole disk is 20 gigabytes uh, which is recommended and minimum is whole disk 10 gigabytes. Uh, I'm giving um, this uh, particular VM, I believe, 20 gigabytes, but uh, I'll check that out here in a moment. Uh, here's the Void Linux release, um, and you can click on the Trident. It's a net install x86 64 ISO. You just click on that there, and it will download, um, and then you can check it with either MD5, SHA 256, or SHA 512. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, uh, go ahead and just put that in Google and uh, it'll pull it up. GTK hash is uh, something you can install in Debian or Ubuntu. Uh, GTK hash. And then you can use that to uh, run a, a checksum against the file that you download. And then come up here and click on this or just look at this uh, checksum right here. Either for the MD5, the SHA-256 or the uh, 512 open SSL signature and uh, if it compares um, then you know you've got a good file and it's not been corrupted. Normally you don't have to look at the entire uh, checksum. If you look at the, like, the last four or five digits if they match up then that means you've got a good file because the probability that the last five digits match up with what uh, you did on the checksum if it doesn't match you will know that that's a bad file. If it does match these last five digits, or four digits for that matter, you'll know that probability-wise, uh, you've got a great file and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so security updates are, are provided. Uh, you can verify the ISO for integrity, as I mentioned. It talks about that here, and you, there's another method for doing that if you want. But let's get into it. Uh, let me get over to the uh, virtual machine, uh, virtual box. Now I'm running an older version here of virtual box. I went back to virtual box 5 uh, instead of 6.0. I was running into some issues with 6. I'll check that out later and get that fixed. But right now I'm running it in 5, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. So let's uh, select Trident 2002 Lumina desktop, which is what I selected. And let's go into settings. And you can see that I have for system I've got uh, six gigabytes actually 
of memory that I'm running this on instead of four, which is the recommended. Uh, I've got the uh, hard disk as the first boot order since I've already installed this. Uh, and uh, for display, I gave it the full 128 megs. Uh, for storage, I took the Trident Net install uh, x86 64 ISO. If you've never used a net install before, it's kind of a um, Oh, uh, it's hard to say what it is. It's an in curses based or a quasi GUI, I guess, interface. Um, and it, it's an installation directly from the net, um, interfaces directly with the website uh, on a net basis uh, and um, allows you to install it. Okay, the audio is ICH AC97. For network, I used a bridged adapter. And there's the name of that adapter you can change that if you like for serial ports I didn't activate any for USB it's USB 1.1 I don't really care about that so let's go ahead and click OK here and let's go ahead and launch Project Trident 2020 or 2002 let's go ahead and switch to full screen now when I install this go ahead and hit enter uh, it came up to full screen so I was really happy with that it found the 1920 by 1080 resolution with no problem. Here it is. This is Project Trident. Um, got a little widget out here for the time and date and um, day of the week. I've got Data Pioneers, my username, as I usually do. Let me put in the password. And I'm using the Lumina session. Go ahead and click Login. And here we go. Uh, we're on the Trident. Project Trident 20.02 desktop. Nice desktop. You can change it. Right click and uh, do a preferences here for wallpaper. You can change it uh, for display. You can go out the theme. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. I did a right click here. And under applications, um, we'll see that in the menu as well. But for development, they got the Lumina text editor. For education, we got the LibreOffice Math. It does have the full LibreOffice suite here. For graphics, we've got the eBook Viewer. Uh, we have the LibreOffice Draw, LRF Viewer, Lumina Image Viewer, Lumina Screenshot for taking screenshots of the desktop, and the Ocular PDF Viewer, okay, or Reader. For multimedia, we've got the Lumina Media Player. Uh, Pandora Internet Radio, I install that. Uh, Pulse Radio, or Pulse Audio rather, Volume Control, and then VLC Media Player, which I believe uh, Tr Project Trident came with VLC Media Player uh, out of the box. For network, I've got Firefox Web Browser. Uh, I install the GNOME FTP client. Um, it has the Telegram desktop. It has Trojita and it has WPA Qt. For Office, uh, I installed Calibre for my Calibre library of EPUBs and PDFs and text files. Uh, it has the ebook editor that came with Calibre. Uh, LibreOffice suite here, as I mentioned, the full suite is installed. I'm not a big fan of LibreOffice, so I would probably install um, uh, TextMaker, um, which is um, uh, another Office Suite fully compatible with Microsoft uh, Windows and or Microsoft Office and LibreOffice as well. Okay, so let's continue on. For settings, we have the desktop configuration, the Lumina screen configuration, the Lumina theme engine, and the screen saver. For system, we have community support. This is a fully community supported operating system. We have desktop information, so let's let's take a look at desktop information. Um, it says that the uh, desktop version is 1.6.0. It's a Void Linux build, uh, and we can click here for the Qt version to view information about this. That the program uses Qt version 5.13.2, and if you don't know what Qt is or you're not familiar with Qt, Qt is a C++ toolkit. Uh, for cross-platform application development. All right, uh, you can ask me a question here by clicking this link, or you can uh, report a bug if you if you find one uh, by clicking this button right here. All right, so let's get back in, 
and applications. I believe we were under system and we have um, managed printing. We got all my printers are right here. Uh, Q terminal and the Q terminal drop down. Um, unsorted uh, here is Ocular and Utility. We have is Compton, Insight File Manager, the Lumina Archiver, the Lumina File Information, Lumina Search, PyCom, and QXKB. All right. For root, we have uh, the root uh, file structure shows the entire file structure here. Um, for preferences, I mentioned we have screensaver wallpaper. So for wallpaper here, um, this is the one I'm using: single background, uh, screen resolution of 1920 by 1080, and you can add more uh, wallpapers if you like. Okay. Um, under appearance here for desktop settings, we've got theme, and I'm using right now the Trident Dark theme with the fusion style. I like the darker themes, uh, you know, each to his own. You can change this if you like. I mean, we have a selection here of quite a few. Airy, darker, dusk, sand, simple, waves. And under the style, you can do either fusion or windows. If I change it to windows, it just puts a border around it, does some other things. If I do fusion, it fuses it in with the background, makes it less obvious. Uh, and this is a custom install theme here. Uh, for effects, I can uh, change some things in here, which is typical of most of your Linux distros. Here are the fonts, and I can change the font size and type uh, and the font style Okay, over here. Um, I can do the writing system, either you know, any writing system I want here. It's on the default one right now, which is, well, actually any. And then I can uh, show a sample here of what I've got, the Deja Vu Sans is what I'm using. Okay, and so let's uh, close that. And where well, we have to actually cancel here. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and close. All right, and um, okay, so let's go to the menu. To go to the menu, we have, uh, we can browse our applications here. And uh, here's a list of our applications that we can choose from. Um, so for Pandora Internet Radio, for instance, uh, I don't have a Pandora account, but if you do, you can put in your account information, your login, and your password, and you can actually pull up Pandora Music while you're using this uh, operating system. Um, for Caliber Library, let me double-click this and show you that uh, if you've not used Caliber before, highly recommend it for a library. Um, I don't want to get the update right now. Let me cancel that. But I have a, um, a library of um, short stories and uh, scholarly writing, technical writing, publications, and that kind of thing. And um, I can add uh, things to the library and take away and change the metadata and do all kinds of things here. So take a look at that. It's called Caliber. Ocular is my PDF reader. Um, I've got the Lumina theme set up, as I mentioned. Here it is. I'm going to double click it here, and I've showed you that earlier. Let's get out on the web and I'll see what version of Firefox web browser we have. Um, I've got it set up right now, uh, syncing with my, uh, my usual stuff. Um, but here is my Kadaza start page. Highly recommend Kadaza at www.kadaza.com, by the way. So let's get out here and see what version we have. Uh, let's go down to Help and About Firefox. We are running the Firefox browser 72.0.2, 64-bit. Um, so that looks like that's probably the latest version uh, of Firefox web browser. I'm using the Brave web, web browser right now in Farron OS on my uh, main PC, and I like it. So I'm, I'm going to be using Farron, uh, Farron and br the web browser called Bra Brave B or Bravo. We call it Brave, B-R-A-V-E. I use that a lot. Um, it's the one I cling to when I uh, do my workload. All right, so um, we should be able to get uh, sound. You're not going to be able to hear it because I don't have that set up. But if I get out to uh, uh, 
go out here to YouTube. I don't believe you'll be able to hear it, but I'll go ahead and play something. I'll play one of my videos. Um, go out here to my channel. And uh, let's go up to uploading short stories here. See if we can hear it. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that or not, but I heard sounds. We do have sound. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Firefox web browser. And um, we've got our calendar over here. And we've got time zones that we can select. Uh, I've obviously selected the U.S. time zone, which is the Eastern um, time zone uh, for United States. Okay, so I believe... Um, trying to find it here. Well, I know I've selected the uh, correct one. It's the uh, America. There we go. America, United States, and I believe I selected New York uh, time zone, which is the one I normally select. Yeah, New York. Okay. And then here is the... Um, Charging, I'm not charging anything here, so it's got a, a charge icon, though. Uh, so you can um, use that if you like. But anyway, this has been a quick look at Trident, uh, Project Trident 20.02. Uh, give it a look. See, uh, go ahead and click on the link down below and click on that downloads link and download the net install ISO and Put it in a VM and uh, or bare metal and uh, give it a try for yourself. See what see if you like it. If you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. It really uh, helps me out on my channel and uh, increases my numbers of subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button at the end of this video and um, and then hit that bell off to the right hand side and you'll get notified every time. I um, upload a video. So this has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.